Hello, in this jQuery video, I'm going to show you the in array method. So the in array method, as you can probably already guess, allows you to check if something is in your array. So let's just quickly whip up an array. So if we do var, and we'll say, we'll call it epic array. And, and in JavaScript, you can put any sort of data type in the array. So let's just put a couple of numbers, 24. I'll put my age, which is 27. I will put my favorite superhero, Batman. Put one more favorite food, pizza. And to use the in array method, pretty simple. All we have to do is dollar dot in array. And the first parameter that we pass through is what we're checking is in the array. So we can say, let's say 34. We know it has to be the exact same data type as well. Just bear that in mind. And next we specify the array itself. So let's say epic array. If we were to reload our page, nothing will happen because we're not doing anything with this result. So let's just console log it out. Console log. And we get zero. So this is saying zero because it's at index zero. As you can see, it's at index zero. So if I were to duplicate that and put Batman, and now if I reload it, as you can see, it's, as you can see, it says index two. So remember, with computers, everything starts at zero. So this will be index zero, one, and two. If I do the same, but instead of checking for thirty-four, I check for let's say the word add, which clearly isn't in our array. If we reload, let's see what we get. So we get minus one. So if you get a result of minus one, because that is an invalid index, it means it's not in your array. Another thing that you can do, the last other thing you can do with the in array method is check if you have a particular element, but you know, after a specific index. So if I put, say if I'm checking for pizza and I say, Let's say first, say the number two. I reload it. As you can see, it says negative one, even though pizza exists. So this is index one. I mean, this is index zero, one, and two. If I change this to three now, it is still saying. Oops, see, Daisy, I made a mistake. I was meant to put the actual array first, and then I was meant to put the index. So it's what you're checking for, the array name, then the index. So let me just run that again. So it is saying free. The reason it's returned index free is because it's at index free like so. So that's how you use the in array method. Allows you to check if a certain value, you got to make sure that the data type is the same. So 34 there is a number if i do this this is not the same thing so make sure the data type is the same in array allows you to check for a specific value in your array really powerful if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video